Welcome back, 164 scale diecast collectors. Today I am opening up and reviewing the latest in the Greenlight Hitch and Tow Series 17 set of four vehicles with their four trailers. I've already pre opened the packaging to make this all one seamless video for you. Got the four models listed on the back of each packaging, so the backs are all the same. Hitch and Toe is one of my favorite series released by Greenlight, as I think it is for many. It's probably one of their most popular series. And this particular set for Series 17 features a wide array of vehicles, from the Nissan Titan to the Dodge Ram. We've seen a lot of Dodge Rams in the past, but it's still a nice vehicle to have. The fairly new 77 Ford F100 coming out, and also the fairly new Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. Both of these the first time to be seen in the Hitch and Toe series, as is the Nissan Titan. So three new vehicles for the Hitch and Toe series. Without further ado, let's get into some of these awesome packaging. As you can see, there's lots of bits, and every one of these sets has the trailer jack separate, so you're going to have to install that. Make sure you don't throw away all your packaging before you get that little sucker out of the package. So we'll start with this one it is really cool looking and as you can see lots of nice details these trucks and cars are all metal on metal the trailers feature lots of metal parts and uh, I'm gonna leave these little bits in here for now just to keep the video going but don't worry I won't forget about them they're not really necessary for the review so first we'll just get all these little pieces out oh my goodness that one nearly took out my eye okay that one somewhere on the floor. There it is. Found it. First of all, check out that truck. Really quite nice. Give a nice little polish up. Those gloss black trucks always, cars and trucks always have a few factory fingerprints. There's the hitch. Tons of detail. Probably one of my favorite color combos for this truck. I just recently added a few from the singles, uh, single line of collections to my green light horde of vehicles and uh, this was one of the models one of the newer models that's been released since the springtime that's being produced with lots of cool paint jobs and we've seen the ramp trailer before it's got the uh, little clip-on ramps which actually function better than they did in previous releases of this trailer back in the day um, I had issues with these well it looks like I may have an issue getting that one to go all the way up but at least they function and can go down. You can roll a car on. They don't really stay on all that well. More of a static display, I would say. But there you go. And uh, something like that. All right. Well, there's that truck, the 77 Ford F100, and free wheeling stripes and flat bed trailer. Next up, probably... Second favorite in the set, if not first, will be the 71 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser with the teardrop camper trailer. This features an opening hatch. First, get that car out. This is looking a little bit more like the vehicle from that 70s show, which I was mentioning in my previous green light mega haul video from uh, mid July 2019. Now, this Vista Cruiser is awesome not only does it have the separate piece hood so you could take it off i don't think it opens i've tried before on previous models it doesn't open but the tailgate does open as you can see exposing a very nicely detailed interior and uh, really liking this metallic lime green if you will with the matching trailer and there is the opening hatch shows the little kitchen a little dinette pretty cute and uh, that gets towed quite nicely behind the wagon there you go let's see that uh probably the most interesting trailer and i think this may be a new one is the aero vault mk2 trailer being towed by the nissan xd pro 4x this is a pretty exciting model let's get some of this packaging out of the way all right Protective plastic everywhere needed for this particular vehicle as you will see it has some very nice mirrors on this vehicle quite realistic check it out 
painted mirrors. Not sure that's going to focus well at that angle or not. But this is a fantastic truck, quite heavy. We'll look at the trailer in just a moment. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't think it has any opening parts on it. But uh, what it lacks in opening parts, it makes up for in sheer weight and details. Uh, as far as all of the details on this truck go, it, it looks just like the real thing. Very cool. And let's check out this trailer weighs quite a bit as well. Quite a behemoth of a trailer. Real car loader. We might even be able to fit the Vista Cruiser wagon right in here. It's the arrow vault. You got to see the access, uh, where the access doors would be on the real deal. Those uh, dog dish hubcaps are pretty cool. It's all metal on the base. Assembled with rivets. And this back piece which should open up. If only I had some fingernails that would work there. So we'll just carefully use this little hobby knife. Oh my goodness, it's really, uh, it's really in there. There we go. Cool. So you got a nice big ramp. Let's just get it loaded up behind the trailer, truck and trailer, I should say. And let's see, can we get a Vista Cruiser wagon into the Aero Vault? Surely. Oh, the roof racks. The roof racks hold it up. Yep. All right, well, that didn't quite work. How about a Hot Wheels Firebird? An 80s Firebird, no problem. We'll just leave it at that. So that's pretty cool. Nice heavy rolling unit. Bit of difficulty for me to open the door. Other than that, quite a nice trailer. First one for my collection. Let's put that in the background, get the final vehicle out for this set. And that is the 2017 Dodge Ram 2500 Bighorn Edition with Bridgetone Service Center enclosed car hauler. Some protective pieces and mirrors. And this Dodge Ram. Pretty cool. I've seen this casting released several times in the past. These wheels might be new though. I don't recognize these wheels. I may, of course, be wrong. I have so many of these Dodge Rams now. But they, for some reason, look new to me. Big me tires. I got a bit of a bit of a wog, wobbly axle there. Might be able to straighten that out. Might just be the tire. I'm not sure. Ooh. Balancing issue there. And this trailer we've seen in the past many times as well. This is one of the first released trailers for the Hitch and Toe series back, way back series one. Uh, it also has room for a vehicle. Probably not something as long as the station wagon, but height won't be an issue. No, almost. Almost gets the whole wagon in there. But this is a fairly light trailer. It does have a solid metal base. And uh, lots of cool graphics on it. Right down to all the rivets on the sides. Just like the real deal. You got all the little silver rivet heads. And uh, all the details. So there you go. Green light hitch and tow series 17. It'll be interesting to see what comes out for series 18. Probably not for another couple months, I would say, since this is only maybe a month or two old, this set. Uh, which one's your favorite? Let me know down in the comments and let me know how you're doing as far as finding these things in the wild. I got these at my local Walmart here in Ontario, Canada. This almost never happens. Uh, certainly the most popular vehicle in the set always seems to show itself as that's usually the one I don't find. Currently I'm seeing the uh, Titan and the Ram hanging on the pegs still at the Walmart and all of these older models, the Vista Cruiser and the Ford pickup were gobbled up. Uh, so it seems like the newest models are the most interesting to the collectors in this area, but I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. And happy hunting, we'll see you in the next video. I've got Greenlight Hot Pursuit series 29 i believe or maybe it's even farther than that the latest hot pursuit series coming out shortly as well as the hot wheels year by year vintage 1989 set that's also in the works and a whole bunch of other stuff happy hunting